What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Pop Culture Gamers video. I'm having a bit of a change in terms of the way that I do these videos, so bear with us while I get the sort of floor right on these, but I want it to be a bit more conversational with you guys. And first off, I'm going to do an unboxing video today. So one thing that you may have or may not have a problem with is something that I have. What do all of these things have in common? Yes, the USB cables. That one's pretty much a given. Dead easy. But they all, whether or not they're type A, B, C, micro, mini, whatever connector it is, they all have one problem. And that is, I don't know what the hell each one is beyond the connector. Now I know what you're going to say first off is well on your USB-C cables they have a colour which dictates what sort of speed and everything that it runs, what type of cable it is. Yes and no because a lot of manufacturers don't bother with colouring the cables right and I have seen white and black USB 2 and 3 cables. USB 3 should be if remember blue but not necessarily and also what about USB C? Is it Gen 3 USB C or whatever? And that's a problem. I did a number of months ago come up with a solution to this. And it was this, which I showed you guys. Had a few people who bought one, said how uh, really good uh, it was. So uh, this is a USB cable checker. And yes, it's good. There was one problem. Unless you understood what these lights meant, it didn't really help you. So I could see, yeah, okay, more lights are lit up, so therefore it must be a better cable. But I didn't know what type of cable it was in terms of whether it was USB 2, USB 3, whatever. And again, that is my problem. So after having seen the video that I did on their previous tester, I've been contacted uh, by Treedix. Um, who have now released the upgraded version of that cable tester. And I'm going to show you today what that looks like. And this really is a game changer to help you identify what your cables are. Let's have a look. Okay, so here's all of the cables that we've got. And this is the device that we're wanting to use. So it's a really small, really discreet device. It's the same size as the previous one, but not quite as tall. But then again, most of the height in this was actually the plastic spacers. Um, so let's open it up. And inside, uh, what we're greeted with is this small device. And we also have the manual, the battery in this is just a single AAA battery, which is nice, They're very cheap to run. And it will last quite some time uh, on that battery as well. Uh, but around the edge, uh, obviously we have all the different port types, um, lightning connector, uh, micro USB, we've got the AB port USB-C and uh, is that USB B, I think we've got USB C on the side and also another full USB A. Uh, the only thing you can't really do is just test a USB A to A cable, that's the only one that you can't test on here. Um, but when we switch it on, um, which is at the side here, we're greeted by the boot screen which says just to connect a cable. So I'm going to pick um, a cable at random which is going to be this one so I'm going to plug the cable into 
slot A, and then use the other end of this, the micro cable connector, uh, into the appropriate slot and make sure I put it the right way around. And it tells me this is just um, a power cable. That it's micro B, um, and it's got V bus and ground, and it tells me how many ohms um, in terms of the resistance test and the fact that it's ground and open, and there's no USB C marker on there. So it's an immediate identification um, of your cable. And then let's have a look at another one. So this is one that came with my uh, Commodore Amiga Mini. Plug that in there. This one's um, USB-C. So let's just give it a bit more room and we'll plug that into the USB-C slot. So here we can see it's USB-2. It does data transmission. It also does power. It tells us all of the areas, which is basically a map um, of this that was on the original one. Uh, of the lights that would be uh, lit up there. And it tells us how many ohms, um, uh, milli uh, sorry, milli ohms is it, that uh, this has and the ground short test as well. And then obviously USB-C E marker, um, no E marker uh, chip was detected on there. Um, let's try another cable. So uh, this one is one that I uh, use for a lot of my Thunderport connections actually uh, for uh, the USB or the hub that I've got. So immediately I put that in and it's done passive TBT4 cable and it's got all of that information before I've even plugged in the other side of it. Uh, quite ironically, um, let's have a flick through. So this one is USB uh, 3.1, USB uh, 3 power transmission, but it's also 3.2, USB 2 and data transmission as well. Um, you can see that the only thing it doesn't do with those two there, um, 72 milli, milli ohms um, in terms of the resistance tests. So yeah, it's such a basic tool to use um you know there's nothing much that you really need to do obviously you don't want to be testing your cables absolutely every time that you do this so i bought this um pack of cable markers as well uh, you just write on one side it's velcro so i'll just hook it on here um once i've done the measurements of all of the cables and then I can just find at a glance what my cables are. So that's it. So what do you think? Is it the type of thing that would really interest you? Is it not? It might not necessarily be your bag uh, to use one of those, but certainly I am pig sick of trying to find out what the right cable is. And then you leave something to charge for hours and realize that it's only doing data transmission, not power. So this really comes in very handy. So if you want to buy it, it is available uh, from Amazon, um, but I'll put the link in the description, but that's what it sort of like looks like. So it's the um, Tredix uh, USB cable tester. Really, really good. Definitely well worth it. That's it. Uh, so thank you very much to Tredix for sending this as a sample. Um, I give it my thumbs up. It's a really brilliant, very easy to use tool, much easier than the previous one, which I'll put a link in the, up here so you can see that video as well, um, because it basically tested more or less the same, but it didn't have the screen and tell you which one was USB uh, two or three. So definitely the better one. The screen really does add something extra to it. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this new format for the video and we'll see you next time. Bye now.